Hi everyone and welcome to another video from your own personal online internal medicine residency bootcamp series. In this video series we will be dealing with how to answer the most common pages that you will encounter especially during your first year of medicine residency. Several important things that you need to be aware regarding pages are number one rule is answer your page as fast as possible. If someone is paging you, that means that they need you, okay? No matter which year resident you are, first, second or third, try to answer your pages as soon as possible, as fast as possible. This means that you care, this means that you're involved, this means that you love your job, so you want to leave a good impression, especially first year residents, they need to answer their pages as soon as possible. Sometimes people page you for trivial things, but sometimes there is an emergency. So always when you get paged, assume that there is an emergency. The page is urgent and you need to get on it stat. This is the mindset that you need to have all the time regarding pages. Answering your pages fast leaves a huge impression on people and it's very very important for your well-being in the hospital. When you answer your page fast, people know that you can be trusted upon, okay? That they can count on you all the time and you want to be that person. Answering your pages fast teaches you responsibility which will be helpful for your entire career. And I'm sure each and every one of you will answer your page fast because I know that you care. Rule number two when answering pages is always introduce yourself. For example, you can say, hi, this is Axinia or Dr. Axinia or Dr. Steva Sarova, you can introduce yourself which, whichever name you want from whichever team you're assigned to. If you have colors, you can say yellow, gold or green too, returning a page. And then the person on the other side will tell you what this is about, but always introduce yourself. And the person on the other side most of the time is the nurse who's taking care of your patient. Now, sometimes the nurses are experienced and they don't need your help, so they don't pay you so often. Sometimes the nurses are experienced, but they still pay you because they want you to learn, which is okay, which is great, right? Sometimes the nurses are as inexperienced as you are and they truly, truly need your expertise. So always make sure that you answer your pages fast. Also try to get to know your nurses on each floor or at least whoever's taking of your patient. If you know them on a personal level, it's even better, but sometimes if you don't have too much time, at least know their names. And always, always, always include them in the treatment plan. For example, you go in the morning, you discuss with your senior the plan of the day, then you go find your nurse, introduce yourself, remember her or his name, and then tell them what the plan is for today. They will appreciate this, you have no idea. And this is the right thing to do because they're the ones who are taking care of your patient all the time. If you're on the floors, for example, and you have 10 patients or you're on call overnight and you have 70 patients, it doesn't matter, you cannot pay so much attention to the patients individually the way the nurse can, right? The nurse has two, three, five patients maximum. So always be friends with your nurse, treat them with respect and they will help you out. And this is how it's supposed to be. It's, a, it's, it's one team, right? The nurse is doing their job, you're doing your job. The nurse will know your patient most of the time better than you do and you want her or his help. You want to be on the same page and you want to work together. There is nothing more beautiful than going to work happy knowing that you're going to see your friends, your colleagues and that you're going to have a great day with mutual respect. Another super important thing to avoid being paged all the time is to be present. Always be there where you're supposed to be. If you're, for example, on the second floor, you're, you should be on, at the nursing station on the second floor, wherever there are computers available. You need to be close to your patients and close to your nurses so you don't get paged so often. And in my opinion, this is the right way to do it, right? You're there to work. You're not there to sit somewhere in a quiet room and do nothing or in the residence lounge, lounging away. No, no, no. This is not how it's supposed to be, at least in my experience. I know that different people work in different ways. Some people need quiet spaces to think about the patient and collect their thoughts and all that stuff. But especially if you're first year resident and you're sitting away from your patient, it leaves a terrible impression on everyone. So. Regardless of how your brain works, always try to be available, always try to be at the station where you're supposed to be. Close to your nurses, close to your patients, so you're in control of things, right? You want to know what's happening with your patient. You want to be there for your nurses and for your patients all the time. While you're in the hospital, you're there to work 
and you're there to take care of your patients which I'm sure you will be doing. Rule of thumb is always treat people the way they want to treat you. If you want people to treat you nice and respect you know what you need to do. And the last super important thing regarding pages before we get into the matter of things is the following. For example, you're on the floors and the nurse comes and tells your first year resident, right? Early in your residency. The nurse approaches you and she tells you, Doc, listen, the patient's sugar is very low. I checked the POCT, it was in the 50s. I gave the patient some orange juice. I rechecked it again, it's still in the 50s. What, what do I do now? What do I do next? Now, there are two things that you can do. First thing is ask for her opinion. This, is, this creates a beautiful relationship and you need to use any opportunity to learn, okay? So sometimes the nurse will know what to do, right? She can tell you, okay, do you want us to start him on IV glucose or something else? But the point is that it's a good thing that you ask her so she can teach you something if she knows more than you, which is the case, especially if you're a first year resident, early in your residency. But the most important thing here, is no matter what the nurse says, whenever you're in doubt, call your senior, all right? Don't jump to solutions and conclusions by yourself whenever you're in doubt. Your senior, if it's not around you, call them, page them, your seniors are there to help you, your seniors are there to teach you, your seniors are there for you all the time. There are no stupid questions, there are just stupid decisions, all right? So if you're in doubt, Whenever you're not certain, okay, should I do this or this? Whenever you're not crossroad, the most important thing to do is call your senior. You can call your senior and tell them, hey, this is what happened. This is what I think we should do. What do you think? Your senior can tell you, okay, great. This is the right thing to do. Just do it. Or your senior can tell you, no, just check this first or check that first and then repeat the labs. Asking is never wrong, all right? Remember this and bring this in your mind as first year resident. Asking is never wrong. Better to ask than do something that you will regret. Again, you can be the smartest person in the world, but you still need to touch base with your senior. Asking your senior will leave such a great, beautiful impression on them because they will know that they can trust you, that you will not take some frivolous decision on your own without asking them first and without double checking that this is the right thing to do. So when you're asking, you're doing yourself a favor, you're doing your patients a favor and you leave a very good impression on your senior that you're a trustworthy person. Thank you very much for watching. This is the end of our video. I hope you guys found it useful. I will see you on the next video.